Hey everyone, my name is Robert Faber and I am representing Team Pearl for our gold submission final build for the Project and Portfolio 3 class. Uh, so here we go, let's get into it. So in the beginning of the game, we start in the Scraps Outpost with our objective is to get to the Bastion. Uh, we will be running through five levels, five individual student levels uh, in, this, in this presentation, starting with my own. So my name is Robert Faber again. I am the level designer for this level. Uh, so what I wanted to do with this level is I wanted to go for an office, like an abandoned office building vibe kind of feel to it. So on the right side here is the trigger for the first door inside the bottom level of the office building. You walk through and you can kind of get the idea of like a dilapidated abandoned office building, kind of with the lights and the benches all messed up and the chairs overturned. So then you walk through the next room, uh, and this is like a secondary mechanic where you can either choose to tuck under it and crouch, or you can jump over it. Um, there's a collectible in this room. And then you go up the stairs, uh, and this is like the second floor of the office building. Uh, there's intera interactable objects. There's a collectible over here in the corner uh, that you can jump on this, this desk and get. Um, and then you can see the pressure plates right here. You take two of these boxes, or one of these boxes in the first room here, uh, the door opens and you move on another secondary mechanic with this pipe that's fallen over here Good player can jump over it get the collectible and then the player can take this ball here for the secondary mechanic And they shoot it using the right click button to open this door So we get this collectible and There's another pressure plate here, but this one takes two boxes rather than the first one the player can see on the screen there in the middle that it takes two not just the one that was from the first one so when you get the two it opens the door here. Another secondary mechanic here. The player can duck under or jump over it. So then this is kind of where I mix the mechanics. I'm, I'm, I'm a little proud of this, this, uh, this mechanic mix here that I did. So when the player shoots the ball at that, the, the, um, the cube falls from the ceiling. The player can kind of take it with them to the end. And they can see that this one actually takes three instead of, instead of just one or two. So then they can take the ball here. They can either shoot it at or, or touch it to it, and the next cube falls. They place it on the pressure pad, and then the final one here, they can shoot. The cube falls out of the ceiling, and they can place it on the pressure pad here to get all three, and the door opens, and that is the end of the level, and they can collect their cash money. So I hope you all enjoyed my level. Um, so then after that, I have a little transition here. Nice little forest with a pathway on the uh, the way to the next level designer in this in this game, uh, Dorium Otero, who will be presenting his level here in a matter of moments. Uh, so thank you very much. All right, thank you, Robert. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dorium Otero, and this is the start of my level. Um, I went for a theme of an underground subway, um, abandoned, obviously. And here we go. We have the huge doors which was I really wanted to make gates for my level. And as you can see, we start to look around and obviously see that the only way to go is through the left side. Um, and one of the mechanics that I used was the jump. And uh, we start by placing like the boxes right here. That way we can get up to the levels over here. Um, and so another mechanic that I was uh, using as well was using these planks to kind of like walk through and uh, get to the other side. And for lighting, I kind of went a little darker on my lighting, mostly because like I wanted it to give it that like kind of abandoned feeling. And uh, I did mine a little of a bigger... Uh, bigger stage I apologize um, just to give it kind of more of that feeling of like oh, you're in the big subway I textured it using um, metal metal again to give it that subway feeling I used levers in my level as well, which you will see right now when I pull this level right here. And we also have the 
kind of messed up staircases and all this. This kind of shows that it's been abandoned. Um, also just like kind of all destroyed. Kind of. As you go back into the main room, you can see that it looks like there is a walkway up there with the subway rails, but there's no way to get up there. And as you can see on the the cart is not there anymore as well. So kind of leading you down that way as well um, as my leading lines. In this level, you can see there's another lever up there and we can use those boxes to get up there. The boxes or the pallets, either one. I kind of like to give choice there to the player. And here we're going to use this one to open our main gate, the, the one in the front with the two really big doors. As you can see, it's kind of like a staple, you can say, of my level. And now we're going to go through the doors, but there's a problem. There's rocks on the way. So the only other option is to go the last way that we saw that we see now that the door is open on the subway cart. We're going to have to use the tables here to get up there and success. There we go. And from here. We're going to try to move to our exit gate that we can see from right here. I wouldn't I wanted to also give it a a sense of like they were trying to move all these subway carts and it kind of all caved in on them and so like whoever was, you know, here or passing through kind of had no other choice. And now we see some boxes there, but we can't really get up there. Uh you can try to stack them, but since the Boxes are kind of weird with the grab and all. Um, I intended for the player to actually shoot them up there. Kind of have some fun. They look kind of funny when they jump around, I, I think so. I put extra just in case they get stuck like that. You know, troubleshoot your way out of it, I guess you could say. And we have the door open. Another big door. I love the big doors, I gotta say. And up next is Emmanuel Martin. And thank you. Hello, uh, I am Emmanuel. This is my level. It's based off the factory. To enter, you hit the pressure plate and walk through the door. Uh, here we have a crate. We have a crate that we need to put on this pressure plate in order to enter the next room. There's also a collectible at the end of the room. Um, in here, there's another crate that we need to put on this conveyor belt. It is. The belt itself uh, manages to take everything uh, put on it that is placed on it to uh, different to a different part of the level. Uh, that belt was used to open this door, which leads us to this room where we see this crate and a few other small boxes. We need to place these on a pressure plate and. Uh, that will open the that will open the door in this room. Uh, there's another collectible in there as well. Um, we need the big crate on top of the uh, conveyor belt there to get it in to uh, transfer it to the next room for us. And then just get the collectible under the in that same room. This crate is used to break open these uh, walls, like so. 
Uh, we then place the crate onto the belt next to it and collect the collectible under it. That will open the door in the next room. We now need to flip switches to enter this uh, closet. And the last one, now that we're here, we need these but we need these boxes to enter the next room. Place the next belt here. There's our last. There's the next collectible. This is the last box that we need for the switch. And the door opens. Uh, behind that glass is our. Is where our crate is, as well as another collectible. This is the last moment that we will see our crate, as we use it to break this wall and send it on its way on the belt. That will open the door to leave, and we can collect our last collectible, well, second to last collectible, and now jump on <gasps> the belts. <laughs> First two, you can just ride, last few, you have to struggle a bit, <gasps> <you> can... And there's our last collectible. And now that we have left the uh, factory, we can now carry on and uh! move on to Kyler Rain's level. Alright, and so welcome to my level. My name is Kyler Rains, and we are now going to go into a laboratory. Uh, very first thing that you see is that the walls on the inside are kind of like a glass um, to give you like the idea of like that medical field. Um, and the first thing you're going to do is you can go to the right hand side and there is a key located on the laboratory table in order to go into a secret room that is hidden in the map. Um, in this case, I have it in front um, so you can learn the mechanics um, easier throughout the rest of the map. So then you will click E to interact with the door. Um, and as you see, behind a wall is going to be a capsule. In this case, it's going to be the blue capsule. Um, and once you collect those, um, you would need to make sure to have them all because at the end, they're going to be required. Um, there are three total in the game. So then you'll go into the next hallway by just pressing the button. This does not require a key. And as you see, there's a door on your left-hand side, and it's very similar to your first one, so you have an idea on what you need to do. Um, so in this case, you then got to go find the second key. And it's just pretty much a trend. Um, and so you found the second key, and it is going to be located in your inventory by each door. So it's going to be key one, key two, key three. Um, and then you will interact with the door, very similar to how you did it before. But now there is a lever in this door. And <laughs> once you then press on it, it will open a secret door to the next capsule that you will need in order to um, have. And then you want to, want to make sure these are located in your inventory. You can always go back. Um, but if they are not located in your inventory, you are unable to actually complete the level. Um, and so you go to the final space. There are a whole bunch of blocks um, blocking the final way. Just because it's a laboratory, you know, everybody was trying to get their medicine out and they just couldn't get them all out in time. So then you will go to the third room with uh, three door number three. Um, and there's going to be the final capsule in there. And I am very, very proud of my key mechanics um, and also just the ghost boxes in order to implement these. So you'll then hop it on. 
go to there, grab the key, and so as you see, the green capsule popped in the inventory, but now I need to go and get the rest just to make sure I have them all. Um, and so we'll just go ahead back to the other room and grab the red key, I mean not red key, red capsule. And then we will go back and grab the blue one real quick. So we have all three. Luckily the doors stay open, they don't automatically close. Um, but do be careful because they will close on you if you try to close um, from the inside. So let's grab this one real quick. A little high, but... There we go, yes. And so we'll go back to the final room. And all these pills are pretty much to help humanity since it is an apocalypse. And that's also why there's literally um, little to nothing in here in just like lab tables, boxes, pills, because they took majority of them when they left. So you'll just go into the final room, um, which is also um, not clear wall since this is uh, like the lab pot, um, spot. You want to keep that stuff contained. But as you see, the ghost box would then turn blue. Um, and then the red one you'll place. And then the green one you'll place. And at below, it does say, you know, this has been placed. And you'll just go to the lever, open the door, and then you will... Go on your way on to the next level, which is made by Robert of Campora. And then just throughout this level, you're going through a forest onto the way to his level. Pretty minimal since it is an apocalypse. There's not much here, um, but hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Hello, my name is Robert Campora. This is the, the main entrance to my level, which is... Uh, abandoned research facility and uh the only way to get in is through this open window on the side in the reception area and uh <clears throat> you find the lever off to the, the left side in like the security office that opens the front main door you go into the main warehouse part of the building and you see crates and everything and then there's the color-coded switch on the wall that opens this door into this this room where there's a bunch of crates and there's one lever that opens up this wall and opens up the second lever that will uh, open the door to the the office in the back here where there is a collectible in the far corner here now going back you see a bunch of boxes on the side here with a platform that you can uh, use the grab null to stack and, and uh, jump up onto. And then in here, there's some more crates and uh, another collectible hiding in the corner. And then that brings you onto the catwalk that uh, is pretty much like the second floor of the, the main level here. You go across onto some storage areas where there's another collectible over here. Uh, after that, you jump down into this back room and you see the big door behind you. You come into this room here where there's more crates and a, another switch on the wall that you push to activate. And that opens up your, your big gate right here. That allows you to come back into the main room, and uh, now off to the right, there's a, the door open into the actual research area, where you'll see more crates and another level on the lever on the ground. Which, when you click that, it opens up a case on the wall, which is where you can take a crate and shoot it at it, and uh, opens up the door into the main loading dock area. There's a switch up on the wall. That you can't get to with anything, but to access there, there's a elevator here that I'm quite proud of. You flip the switch, and then the elevator brings you up to where you find your key item, the research documents, to uh, be able to open up the final door. So to take that crate from the previous room, you can bring it up here and shoot it at that switch, which will 
open up the main loading dock door at the exit and uh, leave your look leave the level and uh, that's it now the final transition between here and uh, the bastion which uh, will be exited out by Robert thank you yes and uh, this is our final transition here between uh, Robert Campora's level and the Bastion, where you finally get to and live your life of solace. Uh, we put a little a couple gates up here to prevent the player from falling into the water, and a little mechanic here: the player has to jump on these to get to the Bastion uh, monorail station. So we jump on these sequentially, and then you get over here, make your way up, up the stairs. Listen to that nice, sweet elevator music as you're about to board your train. So when you make it to the top of the stairs, there's a little note here. It says, authorized personnel only. Transportation to the Bastion. You get on your, your sick ride. The doors close and you're off. Uh, thank you also very much for watching our level, watching Team Pearl's level for the Project in Portfolio 3 class this month. Uh, the credits are Robert Campora, level designer, Robert Faber, level designer, Emmanuel Martin, level designer, Dorium Otero, level designer, and Kyler Reigns, level designer. Thank you all so very much, and take care.